ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my RPG Maker VS Ace scripts tutorial episode 2 and in this episode we are go I'm going to be basically teaching you how to use and actually how to add the pixel movement by Victor to your RPG Maker VS Ace game but before we start this script it, this script is a plug and play but you first need the Victor engine basic module you need that first and you have to put it um below material you could put it above insert here but i prefer putting it below it but it doesn't really matter where you you don't even need that insert here you could just delete that if you want but um anyways so the first thing you need to do is go to victor's website which is this website um Hmm, do I want to put the link in the description? I think I might be doing that. Um, I'm going to put the link in the description to this website where you could get the script from. But first, you need to go ahead and get the basic module and then paste it under material and above. Make sure it's above main. This whole main section, the main process. You just make sure it's above this main thingy right here and below material although it could be above it but it doesn't really just put it where i put it above main and below material actually above main process and below insert here i'm just saying it a lot because you have to put it there have to so after you have found and put the basic module into your rpg maker vs ace you don't actually do anything with the basic module unless you know what you're doing but we are here for the pixel movement. So once you've pasted the, once you've gotten the basic module, all you then have to do is find the script for the um, pixel movement and then add it below the basic module. And you are set. You don't even have to do anything because as I said before, it is plug and play. So we're going to go ahead and test out the game and check it out to see if it's working. So the pixel movements that I've used in the past, they usually have an eight, I mean, f was it eight way direction that you could go, um, northeast or like northwest and then southeast and then like you could go, you could move diagonally. But so when I installed this, I tried that at first, but it wasn't working. I'm like, did I do it wrong? But then I realized that it wasn't that kind of pixel movement. I actually do like this pixel movement and I will show you stuff now with the pixel movement so as you can see I'm gonna try to move around the town to show you so all the little collisions things that you're seeing is because of the script I'm trying to show you those like that and she's actually still on the way see that's one thing I don't like about most pixel movements because things take up more space than they actually require but anyways as you can see it's working 100 percent i am going to show you how to um add a few other options to your events as you can see the girl in the blue is moving one i don't it's not one tile but it's just moving one pick yeah one pixel Per move I'm gonna show you how to do that and how to add some other customization things with it I'm just walking around the town showing you guys the script in action about the way she is so on the way although she's clearly out of my way okay there you go okay and now we I'm gonna show you how to add those special customization options. So basically scroll all the way down here to where it says instructions, which it does tell you how to install the script. Um, but we are looking at event command, I mean comment box, note tags. So the one that I did mention is this very first one, set up the number of steps each move command will execute. The default value is eight means one tile. So if you put this and you set it to 64, she would move four tiles every time she moves. But if you set it to one, she'll move one one fourth of them 
actually no no I don't want four one eighth of a um tile and then if you put it at eight then she's gonna move at she's gonna move one tile so let's just show you what it looks like with this being 64. I did try this out earlier Mm, 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 yeah. Move. As you can see, this is just one movement. And then. She's going to move again. I was blocking her. And as you can see, she's moving four tiles each time she moves because it's 64 divided by 8 is 4. 8, 8 is 16. I mean, whoa. 8, 8 is 16. Actually, 8 tiles 8 8 is 16 8 8 is 16 that's 32 yeah definitely um not 4 8 so anyways that's how you would do that i'm gonna go ahead and go over the other customization options that you have such as invent size x and y so you could pick basically the collision area size and the pixel for event collision so you could basically pick how wide and tall you want your um invents to be um collision wise um, front collision. I'm not sure. I've read this, but I'm. I think what it means is if you have to be facing directly at the event to actually activate it, either via tall. I mean, action or just um touch, or is it just touch? I'm not sure. I haven't tested that out, but um yeah. So I think it's just when you're facing directly in front of the invent then it activates but then if you're touching the edge of it it won't activate i think that's what that's for no side collision and i think this is the wait hold on invent can this tag and have the slide effect on the edge. okay so this is basically um you um okay i'm saying i'm um, um, um so basically this is the thing that when you like hit the side of the wall or something like that you slide over to the right or to the left depending on where you are the little animation thingy that you saw this is basically it so you could diff, um, disable this for the events if you want um so anyways additional in, um, instruction is basically um the use of this event size because of it's basically telling you about the slide effects that you have when the player touches the edge of a, a tile or something like that then it moves over to the right and it's basically telling you that the default um collision size is the size of the bitmap and you could change that if you want by using this comment and then you have some more options so <laughs> so this is basically telling you the customization options so ve player big collision is true then blah okay this method checks for the um, existence of the basic module okay let's talk about this but this is basically um again have to do with the collision system in the game and here is basically the values that you need to worry about so 32 times 32 box if player is true and 24 by 24 if it's false so 32 by 32 is the um default um size of the of the sprite sets that you make so you could definitely make it a big collision for the sprites and whatnot so that's basically what that's doing and that's actually basically it for this system again it's plug and play without that many customization options it has a few that deal with the event comments that you could add to yourself like the um, movement for the events um, make sure to check out my other tutorials that I'm gonna be having in this series i'm going to try to put them out as fast as possible so you guys keep on requesting and if you guys keep on requesting i'm going to keep on making videos on it and if i get good responses and i'll keep on making good videos on it and once again yeah peace i keep on saying once again but seriously peace Thank you guys again for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button to be updated every time I release a new video. Make sure to like this video and if you have any questions or would like to share your thoughts, please leave your comments down below to let me know. Once again, thank you.